All right, what's up, collective? This is Sid from Savvy Sentient, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to do your reading for January 4th through the 11th. This is a collective reading, so it is not sign specific. Uh, in the description box, you'll find all the information for private readings if you would like to purchase one, as well as all the information for all of my other social media, so you can follow me on those. Uh, I want to go ahead and get right into this reading. During my uh, meditation for this reading, as I aligned myself with the energy of the collective, what I was feeling was that some of you are in a situation where you might be feeling forced, you might be actually being forced to do something that you don't want to do. Some of you all are in a state of indecision where a part of you does feel like you want to do it. Look what's on the bottom of the deck as I'm talking, the lovers making decisions. Um, some of you all are, like I literally heard the words, I don't want to do this, I do want to do this. So some of you are literally torn and don't know which direction to go in, but feel like you want to go both ways. And also, I'm, I was feeling very heavy in my chest, like very heavy hearted. Um, some of your, your heart chakras are injured right now. Some of you all have very heavy hearts. So I don't know who those messages were for. Maybe this reading will uh, speak more to those, but that was just what I was feeling initially. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the reading for the week. Spirit, what is this reading going to be about for the collective? What is this reading going to be about for the collective? Reading in reference to what is this reading in reference to? Come on, spirit. What is this reading going to be in reference to for the collective? That is too many cards, please. Two cards. I'm going to have to pull them in a minute if spirit don't want to talk. <laughs> Too many cards. All right, spirit, please guide my hand to the cards that are going to reference what this reading is about. The sun. Something that's going to bring you happiness, happiness harmony, um... Abundance, okay. One more card, please. Keeps on stopping here. So long. And the Son of Pentacles. So this is something taking slow action, um, really calculated action to uh, bring you some type of harmony, happiness, perhaps balance. Okay. Spirit, please tell me about the recent past for the collective. Give me messages about the recent past for the collective. I see the Queen of Swords peeking her head out. Some of y'all may have really had to make a decision that involved cutting something out. Maybe something that you loved. Messages for the collective, please. Recent pass. We got the Knight of Wands. Recent pass for the collective, please. Four of Wands. Mm hmm. 
Somebody came towards y'all. I'm bringing y'all lots of happiness. Or y'all were put in a situation that made y'all really happy in the recent past. One more message, please. One more card for the recent past. Oh, okay. So two cards came out. And they came out like this. So that's the devil card and it's crossing. The two of swords. So... Like I said, um, before we got started, some of y'all are in a state of indecision. And that's what the Two of Swords is all about. And that indecision may have something to do with this devil being a temptation for you. Or um, even a vice. Okay, it might be an addiction. Tell me about the present for the collective, please. Two of Wands again, more decisions, more plans. Too many. I don't know. Maybe it's the energy of the new year coming in that's making you all uh, reconsider some things in your life and bring in um, all of these decisions, all this indecision for some of you all. That was the magician uh, coming out there too. Some of y'all are in a state of manifestation or you're planning to manifest something. <laughs> Six of cups with the eight of cups. Yeah, I think I'm seeing what's going on here, y'all. Tell me about the near future for the collective, please. <laughs> we got the death card. Got the Six of Wands. We got the Five of Wands. And we have Judgment, y'all. Look. <laughs> All right, so y'all want to be happy. Most people that do, I do. <laughs> y'all want to be happy. And in the recent past, there was something that came into your life that brought you into a place of happiness and celebration. Some of y'all, this was a love. Some of y'all, this was a job. Take it how it resonates. Uh, this is a general reading, so it can be in reference to either or both. Um, but something came rushing into your, into your life in the recent past that made you very happy, um, made you feel very peaceful, uh, very much in harmony. Um, but you do also have the devil and the two of swords here. So... Whatever this was, or whatever this is, it may be something that you're still dealing with, is something that felt good. But it feels like something that you knew it wasn't good. And I think that the indecision that I felt prior to this reading, the wanting it but not wanting it, was that you knew it was something that wasn't good for you, but it felt good for you. And like you wanted to do it because it was it felt good to you. This could be, like I said, an addiction. This could be a person. Um, this could be some amazing sex that you're having with someone who is outside of that and not good for you a user, a manipulator, a cheater. Um, some of you all may very well 
be struggling with some type of drug addiction and when you when you're high when you get that hit it feels good it feels peaceful it feels amazing okay but when you come down this is where you are this may be a person who makes you feel addicted high and when you're away from them, when you come down, when you're alone with your thoughts, you're left to feel reality, okay? You're left to feel the reality of the situation, which is that this person is just not good for you. So in the present position, you're considering your options. You're making plans, perhaps manifesting a way to step away from this. But you do understand that you have the world in your hands right now. There's so much more out here for you. And you're trying to manifest a way to get to a better place, to achieve the world, okay? But you do have everything that you need within you as a manifester. Here we have the Six of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So the Six of Cups can mean a lot of things. It can be your inner child. It could have something to do with children. But in this particular reading, I feel like it has something to do with your past. Because in your recent past, you have this devil. You have this addiction. You have this indecision. And this Eight of Cups is telling you that you have to walk away from that past energy, okay? You have to walk away from whatever was going on there, okay? And to further drive that point home, we have the death card in the near future. So even though you're in this place of indecision, you know that it's time to let it die. You know that it's time for you to be reborn you know it's time for a new beginning. After death comes rebirth, that's a new beginning. And once you do that, it's going to bring you to a place of victory. Okay? And yes, you are very conflicted about all of this. Like I said, lots of indecision here in this reading. You're very conflicted. And even if this isn't just mental conflict, once you try to end whatever this thing is that you have to end, it may end in a way that is fiery and full of conflict. Hopefully it doesn't get to a physical point, but there is going to be some arguing, some arguing. And I think that in that conflict, in those arguments, you're going to start seeing things a lot more clearly here with the judgment card and understand that this is a judgment that had to be made. Okay. In this argument, this person may say something to you that just snaps you into reality that makes you see like damn that's how you really feel about me that's what i really am to you okay this uh person that you may have been dealing with or that you may be dealing with uh may be a user like i said toxic narcissistic and in this argument that you have here with the five of wands, they might just say something that's just so cutting and sharp that you, you, it makes you see them. It makes you see, it makes you walk up out of this la la land that you're in when it comes to being with them and when it comes to being intoxicated by them to see how they truly feel and see you. Okay, um, if this is a work situation, this could be bosses, this could be um, managers, the heads of the corporation, like finally making you see where you're working and how you're valued by them, okay? Uh, but if this is in reference to, to work, I mean to love, we have some romance angels on the way. So let's see what the romance angels have to say about this. Romance angels, what is the message for the collective? 
and about this connection. What is the messages for the collective, please? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so four cards flipped over. A past life relationship came out. You've known each other before. So for some of you all, this is you dealing with the past again. And realizing that shit hasn't changed. This is a, a connection from someone from the past. Um, for some of you all, it's a karmic situation or like a, a twin flame who's actually from a past life. And the connection feels really toxic. A heart to heart conversations. Some of you all are going to have heart to heart conversations with this person. These conversations might be heated with the five of wands. And like I said, it's going to make you see who they are. Um, and then we have express your love and stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, for some of you all, um, this needs to die so that a new love can come in. So you need to stay optimistic about your love life. And when that does, uh, express your love. Or some of y'all are going to express your love and you're, it's not going to be the reaction that you were hoping for with this five of wands here, okay? Um, but whatever the case is, you're going to see the light. There's going to be some answers about this connection that's really going to propel you towards your decision and towards what's best for you. It's going to be a slow moving process though with the sun and the the sun of pentacles and the sun leading your reading, okay? Um with the sun is also a sign of a illumination. So you're going to slowly be the truth is slowly going to be illuminated here in this situation. So I'm going to pull a few moonology cards for you or however many come out. Let me get a few moonology cards for the collective, please. Your commitment is being tested. Okay. Okay. And we have you and your loved ones are safe. So your connect your commitment is being tested. That part. Some of you all are way more committed to this situation than the person that you're dealing with is. Um, like I said, some of you all, they take for play play. They're not. They're really here for funsies. And they're, they're not as invested as you are to the connection, okay? First quarter moon and the new moon in Cancer is what we have here on the board. Okay. And... I'm going to find the page eventually, y'all. One second. <laughs> okay. I don't know where this card is at. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you had the your commitments being tested with the first quarter moon. And this card means that there could be some challenges coming your way, but they're just the universe's way of testing you. The first quarter moon calls for you to face any hurdles with confidence. What do you actually think is possible? If you believe you can do it, then you probably can. If you spend your life affirming that something is too big for you to surmount, it probably is. See how it works? Do you believe your dreams will come true or have you secretly already given up? Showing more commitment now will help you move towards your desired outcome. What you believe to be true is true for you, so believe in yourself. Attune to the moon. I am committed to my dreams and I move forward towards them with confidence. The additional meanings for this card the answer to your question is yes, but not yet. You're halfway to your goal. 
you still need to put in a bit more effort. Sometimes we just need to realize how much we want something. You need to recommit to someone or something. All right. So some of y'all, this is something that you're obsessed with. If this connection is not an unhealthy with an uh, unhealthy connection, it's a connection that you're obsessed with. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's move on to your next card. We have the you and your loved ones are safe. There's a new start coming in your private life. Something is rising up in connection with the people and places you hold dearest. This can be this can be to do with a member of your family, a flatmate, or moving house. If you're hoping to move forwards with something special in your private life, this card comes to you as a message that you can do it. If you've been neglecting your family, it's time to reconnect with them. If you've been neglecting yourself, it's time to take better care of yourself and nurture yourself more. If your insecurity is holding you back, that's something for you to work on for now. Doing so could bring you to your heart's desire. Attune to the moon by putting your family first. An additional meaning for this card is let someone get a bit closer to you. A new cycle is starting for you and your children. It's time for you to review your goals. Have they changed? Meditation will help banish your insecurities. And spending some time near water will bring peace and answers. Okay, so some of y'all need to let this go. Like I said, you have the death card and the victory card with the six of wands in the near past. Some of y'all need to let this go because something more healthy, more solid, something that's good for you and your children, if you do have children, is coming through, okay? Um, and you do have to stay optimistic about your love life card. So some of y'all are holding on to whatever this past person is or this past situation is because you think that nothing better is going to come along and that's what has you so indecisive. But... Something better is coming along. You just have to let the current situation die. You have to make space. You can't fill your life up with, with, with relationship, relationship, relationship. There's not room for all of that. Nobody can do that. Not effectively anyway. But you have to let this one thing go so something better can come in. That's just how the universe, that's how law of attraction, that's how all of that works. Don't don't be fearful of what you're missing out on or if you let this person go. Because what you're missing out on hasn't even come to you yet. So release. Okay? Um, I'm going to pull a few cards of advice for you real quick. And then we're going to do uh, one postcard from Spirit. It's the newest deck I have by Colette Baron Reed uh, to get some messages directly from spirit to you, okay? From God's mouth to your ears, okay? All right, so what is the advice here for the collective at this time? I see the high priestess poking her head out. Some of y'all need to use your intuition. Y'all know what y'all have to do. That's why y'all so indecisive because you don't want to do it. But you know what you have to do. All right. Advice, please, for the collective. Ten of Cups. With the moon. Okay. Ten of Cups is all about happiness, family life, and fulfillment. Um, and then the moon is all about your shadow side. This is all about things that are hidden. All right. The the one card did speak about insecurity. So some of y'all with the moon need to move, work on your insecurities, the things that you hide from the world. Okay. And you really need to move towards happiness. And you know that releasing this toxic thing is what's going to move you towards happiness. But some of y'all got some, some insecurities you need to be working on. And eight of swords, get out of your head. You're you're not stuck, okay? You think you're stuck, you think you're indecisive, but you're not. Okay, look at this card, y'all. She's surrounded by swords, she's wrapped up in a rope. 
Girl, if you don't lean over and shimmy against one of them, them swords and get unstuck, because you're not stuck, okay? She's standing in a puddle of water. Emotions, okay? She's in her feelings and stuck in her head for no reason. Get out of your head. You know what you have to do, all right? So let's go ahead and get these messages from Spirit and then uh, close out this reading. Spirit, what message do you have for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective, please, Spirit? Message for the collective, please. One more shuffle. It's too many. One more shuffle. And then I'll pull. Okay. So this is the message from Spirit for you all collective. Dearest you, if you allow your awareness to settle in, you will hear us whispering sweetness and encouragement to you. You will know the truth of things that cannot be discerned through the material world. The receiver for this kind of essential knowing is your intuition, which is not your sixth sense, but your first the primary navigational system of your soul. You are entering the age of consciousness. It's time to accept that the paranormal is normal. Human beings are multi-sensory, multi-dimensional beings. Spirit infuses all things, and your soul's job is to discover the essential truths here on Earth, where we all agreed to play. Today, trust your spidey sense. Read between the lines, tune into the stories behind the stories, and your world will show you miracles. Not fear, for we are right here and spirit loves you. Trust the invisible. Okay, so again, y'all know intuitively what y'all have to do. Y'all know this is not a healthy situation. Y'all know that the situation has to end. And you know that once you do, that more happiness is on the way for you. So please get unstuck, y'all. All right? Please let your intuition guide you. And get that happiness. That happiness that is waiting for y'all. Okay? So that has been your messages, Collective. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, do comment if this resonated with you as well. And again, if you would like personal reading, all the information you need as well as donation information is going to be in the description box below. Okay? Until the very next time I read for y'all collective, I'm wishing you love and light and everything right. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.